Hello, this is Jack from tofluency.com. In this English lesson, I want to talk about the phrase, practice makes perfect. And to help me do this, I'm going to talk about my time in high school and more specifically, the assemblies that we had to go to. So in the UK, high school is between the ages of 11 and 16. In the US, people call high school the, the place where you go between 16 and 18. So it's a little bit different. So mainly through our young teenage years, we were at high school. So we had an assembly twice a week at school. And this is where everyone in the same year goes to either the main hall or maybe the gymnasium. And then a teacher or sometimes the head teacher talks about things. They talk about the rules of the school, upcoming events, and usually they also tell a story which has a lesson to be learnt. So I remember one time a teacher who was really good at telling stories and when he told stories, everyone listened. He talked about practice makes perfect and he gave the example of golf and that golfers have to practice to get better. And practice makes perfect. But he questioned this phrase a little bit. He actually said, it's not practice makes perfect, but perfect practice makes perfect. So what he's saying in this example for golfers, that in order to improve at golf, you need to practice, but you also need to do the right things. You need to do the things that are going to help you become a better golfer. Now, we can think about this as well for learning languages. Because as I've explained many times before, it's not just about how often you study English or how often you use your English, but it's what you do with your time. It's how you spend your time using your English and practicing. So we can take this phrase, perfect practice makes perfect and help us do better things to use methods that are going to help us improve. So if you want to learn more about the methods that are going to help you improve, then please check out the description below this video. I've listed a few articles and videos that are going to help you with this. And also, if you haven't done so already, get the five-step plan for English fluency. So let me know what you think about this in the comments. Do you believe the phrase practice makes perfect? Or do you think it's better to say perfect practice makes perfect? Thank you for watching.